welcome again to Saijin Academy, Diploma Series 2018, Mechanical Engineering Department. The topic is Manufacturing Technology. We we'll discuss the second topic that is Theory of Metal Cutting. So, in that, we are going to discuss some important questions on this topic. So, in that, first one is the cutting tools are made from option a nickel steel option b chrome steel option c silicon steel option d high speed steel and the right option is option d high speed steel we will discuss First one is the cutting tools are made from. So the options are option A nickel steel, option B chrome steel, option C silicone steel, and option D high speed steel. So cutting tools and abandaga. So they should possess some uh, the properties. So kello the properties and now possess more. So yeah we want the cutting tool should be have high strength, high machinability, so mate non corrosive agile, they should have high cutting properties. So all the material use mark on the cutting tools and produce mark. So illirona optionally that is nickel steel, chrome steel, silicon steel, so e one the more steel in so these are less strength compared to that of high speed steel so high speed steel and it is it has high uh, material removal uh, characteristics and it has high machinability machinability index and it is non corrosive so even now on the property even the high speed steel so we are going to prefer the the high speed steel as a cutting tool material so hence friends the cutting tools are made up of high speed steel so we move on to second question the portion of the tool on which cutting edge is formed is called the options are option a flank option b face option c nose and option D shank. Then the right option is option D shank. We will discuss the portion of the tool on which face edge is formed is called. The options are option A flank, option B face option c nose and option c shank then the right option is option a flank so flank andre so it is the surface below adjacent to the cutting edge so flank andre the surface it is the adjacent to the cutting so cutting edge adjacent tool so I want the surface again, flank and TV. The next one is face. So face and uh, it is the surface where chip slides. So we have the work piece here. So it's on the tool here. So I want the tool in a thing slide. So that surface is called as face. So you don't do work piece ide ee ondu tool hing slide agutte aa slide agutakkanta ondu yen surface ide adike enante navu face ant heltivi then nose so nose it is the uh, point at which the material is in contact so material remove maadbekadre aa ondu tool elli touch agutte or the sharp edge of the cutting tool is called as nose and the shank so it is the uh, part of a body which is uh, 
which consists of uh, the hardened body which uh, supports these plank face nose so ivella enagutte ondu kondu so link it so hence uh, the portion of the tool on which cutting edge is formed so it is called as no doubt the option a that is flank so we'll move on to next question so next question is third one the process of removal of chips by relative motion between workpiece and tool is the options are option a metal removal option b forming option c bulking and option d forming forge and the right option is option a that is metal removal we will discuss that is the process of removal of chips by relative motion between workpiece and tool is the options are option a metal removal process option b forming option c bulking and option c forge so we have to discuss here the first one is material removal process so material removal process andre so it is the operation of uh, removing the material by the hard cutting edge when the workpiece is rotating we are holding the hard cutting edge tool against the workpiece which removes the material so our on the process again i mean the material removal process and the other the forming and it is the creation of metal work by mechanical deformation without any changing of the mass and re our on the material no mass in change how to get out of the metal in the shape on an oven mark tv change mark tv by the metal deformation so other one the can in the now are on the process again now forming and health tv whereas bulking so bulking uh, it is nothing but the hardening of the material then last one is forging so forging and it is a process which involves the shaping of the material by compressive forces so on the compressive forces and now upyoga mark on the now in marty how on the metal in a shape on the now change mark tv usually hammers i get both of blowers i get both of so how in mark tv so now how on the material in our so blow mark in a win marty how on the material shape on the change mark tv adhikin a win tv forging and the head tv so personally here are the process of removal of chips by relative motion between workpiece and tool so the process of material removal between workpiece and tool and it is nothing but metal removal portions and students so it is quite clear that uh, the relation between the uh, motion and the workpiece which is involves of removing the uh, material so it is called as metal removal process hence option a is the right answer then next we move on to fourth question it is the following are the machine tools option a turning tool option b milling machines option c boring machines and option d are of the above and the right option is answer d all of the above we will discuss the next one is the following are the machine tools so option is turning tool milling machines boring machines and option d is all of the above so e one the objective nalli kottirthakkanta option a turning tools avu machine tools e milling machine tools avu machine tools e boring machines avu kuda no machine tools so the right option is option 4 that is all of the above the surface along which chip moves is option a lip option b rake surface option c shear surface and option d relief 
surface and the right option is option B rake surface. We will discuss. The next we will discuss about the fifth question that is the surface along which chip moves upwards is dash. So question Naliana Tandre, so one the surface it eh? Ah one the surface ali now shear marbakaragate chip upward muagate. Ah one the surface in a woo and TV. Ah one the surface in a woo and TV. The options are lip. Option B is rake surface. Option C is shear surface. And option D is relief surface. So we will discuss first one lip. Lip and tanayapana, it is the cutting edge. So if it is a cutting edge, so E one the option. E one the K, E one the slant surface again, the lip. This is upper lip and this one is lower lip. So E one the K now, lip on the head. Whereas next one is rake surface. So rake surface and uh, that is the right option when the chip moves upward. So now with the material, now on the tool and the hing hack is shear madagate. So, only chipsu male gade yelta hoto. So, male gade yelta hoda again agate. How on the surface in create agate adeke na wo rake surface anta healthy way. How on the surface again now rake surface and this is the raw material. So, we are going to uh, shear it by a tool. So, then this surface alien agate chipsu male yelta hoto. So, how on the surface again away in TV rake surface and then shear surface and healthy way. So shear surface means the surface when the tool shears. So the kelagade takanta surface igna when it it is shear surface. And the marbeka itara shear marbeka re hinde ulder takanta on the surface in it. Shear marbogote, shear marbogi hingade in uliute. So if considered this is the tool, it is shearing. Itara shear marbogodaga. So hingade in the surface uliute. Adeke na when it be. The relief surface and the TV. Shear Martha Martha Hodaka, the material remove at the Hote. So Hindre no relief at the Hote. Ulita Hote, Yadu, machine surface, remaining machine surface and the Adekanavu, relief surface and the Kurano, now Hill TV. So it is clear that by the discussion, the surface along which chip moves upwards. So it on surface it, now shear Martha, chips male Muagote, out of the surface again, no doubt we we'll call it as. Rake surface. Hence, the right option is answer option B that is rake surface. The angle between the flank and the horizontal machine surface is called as option A clearance angle, option B rake angle, option C flank angle, and option D shear angle. The right option is option A, that is clearance angle. We will discuss. The next we will move on to the next question, that is the angle between the flank and the horizontal machined surface is called as option A. Clearance angle, option B, rake angle, option C, flank angle, and option D, shear angle. Okay, we will discuss. So, what is the, we will discuss what is rake angle. So, the angle between the rake and the cutting edge is called as rake angle. So, rake angle and re, so on the rake surface, so mate, cutting edge angle, erdur mate takanta angle in avene tv. Rake angle and the TV. Then flank angle. So flank angle and re, flank surface so mate, line of action of the cutting. So flank surface so mate, uh, tool yauriti muagate, yauriti actional katagate. Avedra madir takanta angle in avene TV, flank angle and TV. Whereas adetra, shear angle. So adetra, shear angle. The surface to the movement of the tool. In between them, yenagate, shear. That was shear surface and the line of action or line of movement of the tool. It is also called as shear angle. So, question clear. 
the angle between the flank and the horizontal machine surface and the so that is flank surface so the horizontal machine surface mate irtakkanta angle you know clearly it is called as clearance angle it is called as clearance angle okay the next okay, we move on to the seventh question that is in orthogonal cutting the cutting edge is dashed to the line of action of the tool and the options are option a 30 degree option b 45 degree option c 90 degree and option d 15 degree the right option is option c 90 degree we will discuss next we will discuss the seventh one that is in orthogonal cutting the cutting edge is dash to the line of action of the tool so we have discussed uh, cutting operations alli bandaga orthogonal cutting go, oblique cutting anta barut so orthogonal cutting oblique cutting so orthogonal cutting alli the tool is held 90 degrees to the line of action and whereas uh, idralli enagutte oblique cut alli less than 90 degree irutte so idhe tar illa idu nodi so orthogonal cutting antandre it is held 90 degrees to the line of the action so here we are discussing option a is 30 degree it is the wrong option option b 45 degrees it is the also the wrong option option c is 90 degree and option d is 15 degree hence students so it is clear that in orthogonal cutting the cutting edge is 90 degrees to the line of action of the tool Whereas if it is oblique cutting and less than 90 degree. That is we will discuss in the next question. So in orthogonal cutting, the cutting edge is 90 degrees to the line of action of tool. Hence option C is the right option. In oblique cutting, the cutting edge to the line of action of the tool is the options are option a more than 90 degree option b less than 90 degree option c equal to 90 degree and option d none of the above and the right option is answer b that is less than 90 degree we will discuss the next one is eighth one that is in oblique cutting, the cutting edge to the line of action of the tool is option A more than 90 degree, option B less than 90 degree, option C equal to 90 degree, and option D none of the above. So, now we have discussed earlier. Now, we have clarified the orthogonal cutting. Andre, it is uh, the tool is held 90 degrees to the workpiece whereas oblique cutting andre less than 90 degree anta nanu agle helute so alle ade question helutane oblique cutting alli cutting edge line of action alli est degree irutte it is clear that so it is less than 90 degree oblique cutting andre less than 90 degree irutte if this is the workpiece adu enagutte less than 90 degree ee tarai irutte if it is orthogonal cutting andre it is perpendicular 90 degree. if this is the workpiece it is held 90 degrees to the workpiece. You want to do an action. You have to cutting edge. So it is 90 degree for orthogonal cutting and it is less than 90 degree. It may be 30, 45, 65, 70. So oblique cutting under less than 90 degree. Hence it is clear that in oblique cutting the cutting edge or the line of action of the tool is less than 90 degree. Next one is ninth question. The following are the elements of single point cutting tool and the options are option A shank, option B heel, option C cutting edge and option D all the above and the right option is option D all the above. We will discuss. Okay then next we will move on to the ninth question. The following are the elements of a single point cutting tool. So we have option A shank, option B heel, option C 
cutting edge then option d all of the above so there are uh, number of elements of a single point cutting tool so illi irthakanta muru yenu elements gulidavu they are no doubt they are elements of the single point innu sakash bartavu end relief angle anta baruthe side relief angle anta baruthe rake angle anta baruthe so then shank anta baruthe so ivella venagutte so those are the elements of a single point cutting tool so aa ondu various elements alli so these are the uh, three uh, elements which are given in this option ee moor option alli kottiravu kuda moorunu kuda single point cutting tool geometry alli bartakkanta elements kuda so so aadarinda so uh, the option that is all of the above that is option d is the right answer next we will move on to the 10th question the angle between end cutting edge and normal to the tool shank is and the options are option a back rake angle option b side option a is back rake angle option b is side rake angle option c end cutting edge angle and option d side relief angle and the right option is c that is end cutting edge angle we will discuss the solution okay next we will discuss the 10th question so it is very important one for your examination point of view the angle between end cutting edge and normal to the tool shank is uh, what you will do you in the third question only angle between end cutting edge angle mate normal so when the end cutting edge angle is mate normal so normal means it is perpendicular so a one the two mate irthakanta one the angle ge yen antivi so first one is back rake angle second one is side rake angle third one is end cutting edge angle and fourth one is side relief angle so friends the right option is end cutting edge angle so end cutting edge angle yak antandre so it is the angle which is formed by the cutting operation during the metal removal so avage enagutte so material remove aagta aagta hodage enagutte so end alli irthakanta yenu aa surface iruthe so aa surface enagutte ulita hogutte so remove aagta aagta hodanga enagutte so end alli irthakanta surface relief aagta hogutte so ulita ulita hodage enagutte aa ondu angle ge naavu enantevi end cutting edge angle anta naavu helthivi so adhe rithi side relief angle andre it is the angle between tool face and the parallel line of action of the tool adhe so side relief angle andre it is the angle between the tool face and parallel to the line of the action so adike nanthi navu side relief angle so clearly friends the angle between end cutting edge and normal to the tool shank is end cutting edge angle hence the right option is c end cutting edge angle the next is 11th question the following are the cutting tool materials and the options are option a diamonds option b abrasives options c stellates and option d all of the above and the right option is option d that is all of the above we will discuss and then next we will move on to the solution for 11th question the following are the cutting tool abrasives so cutting tool abrasives yav yav option a diamonds option b abrasives option c satellites and stellates and option d all of the above so illi mention maartakkanta ellu kuda nu these are the cutting tool materials so diamond abrasive stellates so ivella kuda nu cutting tool materials though. so hence it is clear that the mentioned all the uh, options are the cutting tool materials hence the right option is option d that is all of the above so cutting tool materials alli so solid cutting tool materials anta baruthe diamonds adralu baruthe abrasives stellates so these are 
the hard or the solid cutting tool materials hence it is uh, clear that option d that is all of the mentioned they are are cutting tool hence option d is the right answer next one is 12th question the gradual failure of cutting tool due to regular operation is dash and the options are a tool dresser tool wear option c tool tear and option d none of the above the right answer is option b that is tool wear we will discuss the solution the next one is 12th one that is the gradual failure of tool due to regular operation is option a tool dresser option b tool wear option c tool tear and option d none of the above so we will discuss so tool due to regular operation so yavade ond manufacturing center alli irabodu so pade 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 now en martivi cutting tools anna operation maartta maartta hodage enagutte tool tip enagutte failure aagta hogutte so aa ond process ge navu tool wear antivi aa ond process ge navu antivi tool wear so tool dresser antanda it comes in grinding so grinding alli en maartta irtivi so grinding pade pade grinding maadadage enagutte so aa ond aa grinding wheel glazed surface aagi yenu material remove maadak aagta iralla yakandre adu blocking up aa blocking up irutte ella ಒಂದು ಚಿಪ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಗ್ರೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವೀಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ ಗ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಟೂಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವೀಲ್ ಡ್ರೆಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ವೀಲ್ ಡ್ರೆಸರ್ ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಆ ಗ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಿ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಟೂಲ್ ಡ್ರೆಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಟಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಟೂಲ್ ವಿಯರ್ ಎಸ್ ನಾನು ಆಗ್ಲೇ ಹೇಳ್ದಾಗೆ ಸೊ ಟೂಲ್ ವಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಯರ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ದಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಫೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಟೂಲ್ ಜಾಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಬೌ ಅಂಡ್ the right option is option d all of the above we will discuss the next we will move on to the 13th question that is tool wear depends upon so tool wear adre tool wear aagta hogutte na regular use maartta maartta hoda yenagutte tool wear aagta hogutte so adralli uh, what are the uh, factors which depends upon ಸೊ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅವ್ರು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಜಾಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಬೌ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಬೌ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಆ ಒಂದು ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಯಾವ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೂಡ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೂಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಕೂಡ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಫೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ನಾವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಫೀಡ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಅದೊಂದು ಟೂಲ್ ಏನ್ ವಿಯರ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಫೈನಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಟೂಲ್ ಜಾಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಟೂಲ್ ಜಾಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಕೂಡ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇರ್ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇರ್ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಒಂದು ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಅಥವಾ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ದಟ್ ಟೂಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪೌನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಏನು ಈ ಮೂರು ಏನು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅವ್ ಮೂರ್ ಮೇಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೂಲ್ ವಿಯರ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಬೌ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೈ
vp raised to minus 1 upon k is equal to constant and last one option d vp minus 1 equal to constant and the right option is option c that is vt minus 1 upon k is equal to constant we will discuss the solution the next one is 14th one that is two taylor's two life equation is given by first option is vt raised to 1 upon k is equal to constant option b is vt is equal to constant option c vt minus 1 upon k is equal to constant and option d vt minus 1 is equal to constant so the right option is option c that is vt minus 1 upon k is equal to constant so taylor anova a scientist en martane so tool wear agodike enagutte a ondu equation na kodtane so yes to tool wear agutte adana hege calculate madodu time period ana hege calculate madodakke ondu it is a constant one formula kodtane adu vt minus 1 upon k is equal to constant so where v is velocity then t is the depth one then k is the taylor's constant anta navu karithivi so ee one the equation na use maarkondo navu tool life anna navu en maartivi calculate maartta hogti so hence it is clear that option c is vt raised to minus 1 upon k is equal to constant is the right option next is 15th question that is cutting fluids are used for the following option a to increase tool life option b avoid wear and tear and option c protects from corrosion then finally option d all of the above the right option is option d that is all of the above we will discuss the solution then next we will move on to the next question next question is cutting fluids are used for the following so cutting fluids anna na ondu kel ee ondu kelu ondu option galige na use martivi anta avaru helidare yav yavdu option a is increase tool life option b avoid wear and tear option c protects from corrosion and after option d all of the above yes ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಈ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಟು ಲೈಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಅದು ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಡೀತಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ಟೂಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪೀಸ್ ನಾವೇನಾದ್ರು ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ಸ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಟೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಲೈಫ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ತಾಳಕೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ದಿವಸ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ increase to life then second one avoid tear and wear so now regular age cutting fluids anna now apply martta idaga anagutte so aa ondu tool wear agodagli athwa break agodagli athwa cracks agodagli navnu tadagatbodu whereas then third option protects from corrosion yes uh, when we apply the cutting fluids of coolants on the tools so aa ondu tuk kidithivi tuk kidiyodu anta navu helthivi so adondu rust agodondu na navu adana ತಡೆಗಟ್ಬಹುದು ದೆನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಫ್ ಎ ಬೋ ಸೊ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಇವು ಮೂರೂ ಕೂಡ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ದಿ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ಸ್ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಅದು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಬೋ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ low viscosity option b high flash point option c low heat absorption and option d high fluidity and the right option is option c that is low heat absorption we will discuss the solution the next we will discuss about the 16th question that is which of the following is not a property of cutting fluid so then the options are option a low viscosity option b high flash point option c low heat absorption 
and option D high fluidity. So now property of cutting fluid and the bandada yes low viscosity. So now use Martakanta on the cutting fluid it should be low viscous. It is also one of the property of the material. So our cutting fluid one of the property of the low viscosity. Viscosity in it because then second one is high flash point. So normally the cutting fluid to have flash point high irbe. Low idrenagate, so flash point to low idrenagate, so it catches uh, the fire at the low temperature. So, Kadabe temperature, uh, heat akta 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 bandaga between the two lengthy workpiece. Uh, now, relative motion is again agate, heat develop akta akta bandaga. So, if it is out on the cutting fluid to low flash fire point, there will be a chances of catching fire. So, on the fire catch aganta kanta on the uh, you know, optionally. Barate. So, hence. Uh, the cutting fluid should have high flash point, then low heat absorption. So, this is the uh, wrong option. What that one is C. So, on the relative motion near the cadre, work piece with the tool, mathe, low heat absorption. Irangel, only heat to higher agi, uh, oh, akta irate, age, aderiti kudano, absorption no, jasti pekaga. The other coskar and avin martivi, coolant fluids and another nine martivi, only use martivi. Then, last one is. High fluidity. Yes, it is also one of the fluidity. Now use Martha Kanta in Irbeku. It should be high flow. Ado, tumba uh, flow Irbeku. Andre, um, uh, uh, one work piece mele Irbeku flow up Irbeku. So, how again agate? It is one of the good property of the cutting fluid. So, you nella un order again agate. Low viscosity. It is also one of the uh, property. High flash point. It is also one of the property. High fluidity. It is also one of the property of the cutting fluid. The wrong answer is low heat absorption and uh, it is no doubt it is not a property of a cutting fluid hence uh, for uh, 16th question which of the following is not a property of cutting fluid the right option is option c low heat absorption in the 17th question the following are the types of cutting fluid coolants the options are option a graphite option b mineral oils, option C, stick waxes, and option D, all of the above. The right option is option D, that is all of the above. We will discuss. Okay, then we will discuss the 17th one. The following are the types of cutting fluids or coolants. So, first option is graphite. Second option is mineral oils. Third option is stick waxes and option D is all of the above. So the right option is option D all of the above. Back and right, graphite it is a solid coolant, then mineral oil it is a liquid coolant and stick waxes it is a semi-liquid or the uh, cutting fluid, semi-liquid cutting fluid and the healthy. So more solid to liquid to semi liquid so you will allow see you will allow more optional though so these are three are the types of uh, the cutting fluids or the coolants so other in the other more no kuda now in cutting fluid hence the option d all of the above is the right answer the last question is there is 18 one which of the following is not a factor affecting the tool life the options are option a Cutting speed, option B, depth of cut, option C, nose radius, and option D, none of the above. And the right option is option D, that is none of the above. We will discuss the solution. Then, next one is last one, 18th one. Which of the following is not a factor affecting tool life? So, question and Arta Marstini first to Illi Kalaka Irta Kanta Nalk optionally tool life and influence Martha Kanta option no Yaudu Alla the Hilda. So, otherly first one is cutting speed option A that is option B is depth of cut option C is nose radius and option D is none of the above. So, you were told first cutting speed. So, cutting speed just the other than Ganagate tool life. Karma acta burte, tool tip enagate, bega enagate, so So hence it is one of the factor. So cutting speed anagate, other factor, other effect marathe tool life. 
So then hence it is a wrong option. Then second one is depth of cut. So depth of cut now just the quarter quarta with an agate, our look in agate, tool tipu, just the savute, just the failure agate, our inagate, tool life could no cut an agate. Hence, Adunu could have on the factor, depth of cut, Adun could an agate, influence agate, other in agate, tool life cut me agate. Then nose radius. So nose radius and it is the edge. I edge you now constant tag maintain Martha. I edge nose radius and now constant tag maintain Martha Lantandre. In Agate, obviously in Agate, Tulu, big of failure Agate, Hange, other life of Kurano, radius Agate. So hence, so none of the above. The option D is the right option. Okay, thank you.